Okay. I can't see comments yet, so, but if you can tell me, if you can hear me and see me okay, that would be cool. Open. Okay. So as you guys see, I have a ton of boxes and these are all tarantula cribs and closures. So yeah, I have a lot to open. I think this is working. Somebody let me know. Oh, okay. I see comments now. Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> Hi, Erica and Mary and Tate taster puppet slash Chris. Okay, cool. Hi. Thank you so much finger and yay. Okay. Hi, Kara and sweet skills exotics. Okay. Yay. Okay. You guys can hear me. Great. So I literally have a ton of these enclosures I have to unbox and I thought we could just do a little chat because I'm honestly like bored and I would totally like hang out with friends right now if I could, but I really kind of want to avoid, you know, contact with people. So anyway, I just went up to Tropical World Pets and I met up with Tarantula Crids guy and um, he gave me a ton of enclosures that I need to unbox and find places for. Um, I think I have the spiders to fill them, but I don't know. This seems like a lot. So, <laughs> hi cat, my baby curly haired molted yesterday. Oh, Dion's here. You see, you are modded. It is possible to be a mod. <laughs> oh my God. Look at all these. What am I going to put in all of these? Where am I going to put all of these? This is going to be so fun. T cat. So happy I found your channel more of a reptile person, but incredibly happy to start getting into teas. Awesome. Glad you're here. I don't even, I need to like organize this somehow or I'm just gonna have like a room full of boxes. Okay, so we'll do open here, trash there, and unopened here. Does that sound good? Tarantula room, yeah, I need like a specific tarantula room. One day, look, here's a little tiny one. <laughs> this is, the, I think the smallest one I've got from him. Do, do, do. I'm gonna have to make like a million trips to the dumpster tonight and I'm gonna be scared because I hate going to the dumpster at night. <laughs> uh, hey, Eden's Reptile Ambassadors, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, I think it's gonna be more fun that you guys are with me instead of me just sitting here doing it myself. Hi, just got my first jumping spiders and started following your YouTube and you look just like one of my beautiful best friends and I love your channel so much already. Thank you so much. And I actually get that comment a lot where like somebody will be like, you remind me of my best friend. <laughs> I hate doing anything at night. Yeah. I like, I went to like Dollar Tree just now before I met with him and I was just like walking through the parking lot and I was just like looking over my shoulder to see <laughs> if anybody was around. I'm just paranoid like that. Okay. So, so far we have, it looks like, yeah, these are three different sizes. There's a little one, a medium, and then a, this one's like a little bit bigger. Oh my God, you guys, I think I'm gonna have to rehouse like my whole collection into these because I, <laughs> and I don't know what I'm gonna do with my critter keepers. <gasps> this one's special. Hello from Canada. I can't say that. I don't know that, how to say that. Saskatchewan, Canada? Don't laugh at me. Um, hey, Paladin Demo, how are you? Justin, my anxiety is not good at night either. So look at this. Oh my God, this is the first time seeing it. It has my logo on it. Dang, he did like such a good job. I don't know how the quality is on streams, but that's pretty nice. I really like it. And I'm getting fingerprints all over. <laughs> so that's cool. We're going to have to put something special in that one, I think. Uh, where do my comments go on the screen? There we go. So much love from Sweden. Thank you. Break down the boxes and stuff them in one big box. That's a good idea. I might do that and then just take them out in the morning so I don't have to walk outside by myself. <laughs> okay. This looks like, uh, I think I already have this kind. 
Love from Australia, currently watching with my children's python. Very cool. Hey cat, do you have a rat? No, I have two hamsters and one of them is naked and everybody always thinks it's a hairless rat, which I love hairless rats. Like I would totally have them if I had the space and like the time to like really socialize with a bunch of rats, but I don't right now. Um, so I do have a hamster that a lot of people think is a rat all the time. Like every time I post a picture of her, People always ask what she is. Okay, okay, these are new, look. This has a light logo, usually it's black, so this must be new. I wonder if this is a new logo. I, oh, no, it's not. I think it's just white, Ooh. But yeah, this is the cool one with the sliding lid and the solid bottom. I like these, and then these are just the clear ones. I don't have this kind yet, so. Hi, I am from Miami, nice. <clears throat> these are tarantula cribs enclosures um i talked about them a few times but i am an affiliate so if you do buy from them you can use cat code code cat 10 and you'll get 10 percent off and it does help me out but you know do you but i do really like them so i don't typically say yes to things like that unless i actually like something um but yeah i think i'm gonna have to probably rehouse like most of my collection in these because I have so many now. I have a rat it's hard to take care of. Oh, what is this? I, a spider sub, I missed your super chat. Good morning from Germany at 4.30. Thank you so much for the um, super chat, but you don't have to do that. He is actually one of my Patreons, patrons. So thank you, Seb, for supporting my channel so much. Um... Have you gotten the tarantula cribs arboreal ones? I don't think so. I know they're coming. I haven't even gotten, this is one box from tonight. And then this one is old. I got this a few weeks ago and I just haven't even had the time to unbox this one. And then this one I also got tonight. So I haven't even looked at any of them yet. Um, I've been looking for an adult enclosure for my OBT. I'll have to look into these. Yeah, I really like these. I think an OBT would be cool in one just because they web up like crazy. But I'm about to rehouse my green bottle blue into one and that'll be cool. I feel like they're really good display enclosures for like tarantulas that are going to be out and webbing a lot. How's your... Scarlet spider going, my velvet spider. Um, she's good. I always check on her just because I'm paranoid. I do have bad news though about one of those spinosas I just got. The one I said was about to die on the video. He died. Um, or she, I don't know, but she did die. So the spinosa is no more. That's the less angry of the two ogre face. Um, but I do have it in the fridge and I'm ordering resin, so we're gonna try to preserve it because. I think that'll be really cool. And then her enclosure that I just made, I put my jumping spider in it and oh my God, she is like, she loves the space. Like people would comment all the time and say like, give your jumping spider more space. And like, I finally just was like, oh, I could put her in Exoterra. And so I did and she is loving it. And she just molted before I moved her too. So look at that, very nice. Um. I may be mistaken, but is that an Igus tattoo? Also, what are some tips new keepers don't think of? So yes, he's talking, it was Kenshine, 491, was talking about this tattoo. It's from a video game, Persona 3. I love the Persona series. Like, I know I play literally, I have like Animal Crossing right there. I literally play Animal Crossing like all day sometimes. But before Animal Crossing, I played Persona all the time. I have not finished Persona 5. I could not get into it for some reason. Persona 3 was the first one I played and Persona 4 was my favorite. And I know she's from Persona 3, but I asked my friend who I always played the games with, I was like, hey, why don't you pick out which which picture I get tattooed? And he picked this one out. Um, Pub L, oh, wait, you asked another question too. What was it? Um, what are some tips new keepers don't think of? Quality over quantity, my dudes. <laughs> hey cat do you have a cat no but my mom had eight cats growing up they were all indoor cats so I had 
a lot of cats. She still has three of them. The rest, they all like were literally, literally like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. They all like have passed away in the recent years. But she still has like three of them. And one of them is a seal point and his name is Philip. And he was like my kitten. Um, <clears throat> been watching your videos to slowly overcome hardcore arachnophobia. Loving your channel. Thank you so much, Pub Al Had X IV. <laughs> Um, best YouTuber out there. Have a great night. Thank you so much, Jay. A, that's really nice. Hey, Kat, do the tarantula cribs come with the holes drilled already? I couldn't tell. Yes, they do. Um, so I think it, yeah. Obviously, it's going to, like, depend on the sizes, but they are already drilled. So, oh my god, I'm talking so much, and I have, I'm literally, I have so much to unbox. Okay. This is one box down, though. Oh, Oh my god. All right. All right, that's fine. <laughs> These ones, okay. We have another. Oh, look! What am I gonna put in this? So cool. This one has the little magnetic tops. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I don't know what to put in these. It's gonna be so hard to decide who gets what. I found a wild spider. It's a spider. When it felt movement, it rolls up into a ball. Do you know what kind of spider it is? Um, I'm going to take a guess because I have had this happen to me too where I found a wild spider and it, it rolled up into a ball and it freaked me out. It's a defense mechanism, at least here, um, with the spiders that I come across, of the false widows. Um, I don't know if like black widows and stuff do it too. Probably. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but the false widows definitely do if you mess with them. Like, when I catch them in the house every time to, like, bring them outside, they I always get the cup, and then they just roll up into a little ball and drop in, like, a roly-poly because they get scared. So it's probably some kind of false widow, if I had to guess. I don't know about Australia, though. Um, how you helped me love tarantulas so much, and you're awesome. Thank you so much, and that, like, makes me happy that you like tarantulas. I watched your old video of you getting a trapdoor spider. Is it still alive? Yes. I don't see it, but it is alive because I see, like, from the bottom. Like, it's in that tub of dirt, and then on the very, very bottom, there's just, like, this little window, and if you, like, hold it up and shine a light into it, you can see it. It's little teeth and it's little spindly legs, but um, it doesn't come out ever. Like, I feed it, and sometimes it eats. Sometimes I take the cricket out and it doesn't eat. Sometimes the cricket disappears, but... No, I haven't seen it since I unboxed it, like, outside of the dirt. <sighs> Any updates on your Huntsman Spider? I am going to be making a video about that. That's why I haven't really directly answered it that, because I have been asked a lot. Um, things were going really well, and then they stopped going well. So I will um, talk about that in, like, a video soon, probably a little bit more in depth. But they went well, and then they didn't go so well. So we'll talk about that later. Um, Scottish Fold Cats. I know what those are just because my mom would make me drive her to cat shows all the time, but I don't think I would want a Scottish Fold. Um, ever since I was little, I always wanted a Sphinx cat, and it's funny because, like, when I was, like, a kid, I was obsessed with the Austin Power movies. Like, I remember when Goldmember came out and my parents got me it for Christmas because that's, like, what I wanted. Um, but you guys know Mr. Bigglesworth, the... The first movie, it's like a white Persian, I think. And Dr. Evil and Mr. Bigglesworth get cryogenically frozen, and um, Mr. Bigglesworth comes out without hair, and it's a Sphinx cat. So ever since I was little, I've always wanted a Sphinx. Once we get a house, and I have like a dedicated animal room, then I will hopefully find one. <laughs> but yeah, another cool one. Oh my gosh, so many. Is your husband scared of any bug or animal? No. <laughs> not that I can really, not that I can really think of. Um, the snakes are pretty much his. Like, I mean, I clean them and take them out, but he feeds them. I never feed the snakes. I've never fed the snakes. Um, part of the deal, because he's the one who wanted the snakes, was that he had to feed them. And then, of course, I enabled him and I wanted more. So I got, like, the rosy boas and stuff, but... 
that's all him. And they, they all eat frozen, but it's just still like, like I get it, that's what they need to eat. And if I had to feed them, I absolutely would, but he does it, so. What kind of knife are you using to unbox? So I actually bought this on Etsy for my husband for Father's Day, I think it was. I don't know what kind of knife it is, but I'm probably, yeah, there we go. But I really like it. Like I bought it for him, but I just steal it all the time. So it's mine now. I take it back. <laughs> <clears throat> How much does the snake snakes eat? It depends. Um, so our ball python, she eats like once every probably like two weeks almost. And she eats like frozen thawed rats like big rats it's very sad <laughs> but that's what she eats and she's a very good eater um i hear some have issues eating she's never turned down a meal the rosy boas however the little ones eat fine like every week or two the big one went on a food strike for i think four three or four months the rosy the big rosy boa but we just got her to eat she shed and then she ate so i think that's what the problem was how long has he had the snakes? Um, I think we got the first one three years ago. It was Chili, our, um, the red corn snake, which is always back there. And she's she was like this big, she is now like very big. <laughs> and then we got Ichabod after that. So yeah, I think that was in December 2017, maybe, pretty sure. Why are OBTs so scary? I mean, they're just fast and they kind of like get mad easily. Huh. Okay, I think I know what kind of enclosures the, uh, these are. So I wanna go to these cause I think these are the new ones he gave me tonight. Yeah. And these are all sizes that I don't know if I have. I named my Bihamori Lucifer. Well, did your Bihamori earn that name or did you just like that name? <laughs> Live stream, keep it up, cat. Thank you for coming. I was just like in the mood to just like talk and hang out. So here we are. What's your most docile tarantula? Man, they all have bad days. I'm not gonna lie. There's some days where it's like, I wanna film or take a picture of them and they are not having it. Um, I don't know. Probably my homeoma chiliensis, both of them are really like, they'll come out anytime. But every other tarantula, no matter how nice it is, some of them just do not want to be messed with. I think, yeah, I have my velvet spider in this size. I could probably upgrade her. Is Animal Crossing on the TV? Yeah, well, it actually is like loading now. I don't know what happened, but it was. Oh. I was given a Lazadora Parabana for my birthday today. Happy birthday. Um, could you shout my daughter, her name is Arya. Arya. Shout out to you. Um, I'm about to stab myself. I see it coming. Our pet shops here do not sell spiders. Yeah, our PetSmart and Petco's don't either. There was a Petco that used to sell them, but they stopped, which is probably a good thing. Um, always nice to see a live stream from a tarantula YouTuber. Thank you for coming. I'm just really shy and like I feel like really awkward sometimes, especially live because I can't edit out the weird stuff, the weird tangents and things. <laughs> but it is nice to get on here and talk to you guys every once in a while live and just get over the nervousness of being a weirdo where everybody can like see. Um, is your daughter afraid of your tarantulas or other animals? It's like debatable. She's not afraid, but she like knows to keep her distance. Like she knows and she like respects that. Um, not that she has access to any of them really, but yeah, even the hamsters are like out of her reach. Um, sometimes even the dogs because dogs can, dogs can get upset too. So 
Yeah, we're pretty, yeah. The fish though, the fish are always on display. That's her favorite. Well, the dogs and the fish. We got another of this size. And thank you for the super chat. Um, what is, doo -doo. Um, what sign are you? I am a Capricorn. Um, any plans for any new snakes? Probably not here. Like, probably not because we have a pretty nice thing going. Like, it, we're, we're at, I would say, close to capacity for space and time um, for reptiles anyway. Not, not tarantulas and stuff, but reptiles. They're a lot more work. And I'm not going to lie, one of my hamsters is like a handful of... Like, she's crazy. Like, my dwarf hamster is not that crazy. She's always been really sweet. She's, like, two now. But the Syrian hamster is crazy. And I think it's because she goes into heat. And I'm pretty sure that's why. Um, so she consumes, like, a lot of time. Because she's always, like, trying to, like... Like, she, like, chewed her way out once. And I had to replace the whole lid and stuff. It, my goodness. Another little cute one. Um, would you happen to have a good source for buying true spiders online? I always get my true spiders from Tom Patterson, um, but he doesn't really have a website, so it's hard to find him. But if you want a list, I'm, I know his email. It's tompatterson77 at gmail.com and just ask him for a list and he always has the true spiders. That's where I've got all mine from anyway. Exotic Slayer has way too many snakes. My favorite is Pissy. She's funny. Um, I love Pissy too. So Pissy is a hog nose and I cannot keep hog nose in Missouri without a permit because they are local um, and I think they're like technically venomous, um, not really, but, or something like that. So you need a permit. So that's why I don't have one. Not opposed to it though. I saw he just came out with some really cute Halloween merch though of Pissy and I thought about buying it, but I was like, oh, you have so many clothes. Um, what were the nuts that moved in your hand? Oh my God. So on my Instagram, I posted a video of these um, beans in my hand moving and they were Mexican jumping beans. I got so, I, like literally my message request was just like flooded with what is that? And I meant to like say something about it, but I think, I don't know if I'm probably not going to make a video. I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't know. But they're just Mexican jumping beans. They're so cool. They're a larvae that gets stuck in a seed pod. And they will hatch sometimes. A lot of them don't, but they will. I've had it happen. And they just hatch into moths, and they're, it's just fun. That's what I, I, when I was a kid, I always had them. <laughs> have you seen the new Exotic Slur video? I have not. Um, but I'll check it out. I didn't even see Petco's new video today. Any taxidermy updates? I haven't checked on them. That video is coming, though. I have so many videos that I need to film and not much childcare right now. So, and I could film at night when she's sleeping like now, but I don't like this lighting. Like I like natural lighting. So I'm just so particular and I need to get over it. We have so many enclosures. Do you see those? Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 so far. And still more to go. Um, how's my huntsman? I'm gonna, I said I was gonna make a video or I was gonna talk about that in a video soon, earlier. Thank you so much, Alicia Austin, for the super chat. I appreciate it. <clears throat> yes, these are gonna be new spider upgrades. Um, they're tarantula cribs enclosures. I will link it down below after this live. I, I should have done that before, but tarantulacribs.com and uh, you can use code CAT10 to get 10% off, but I am an affiliate, so I have to disclose that, but I do really like them and he just gave me a ton to 
do a bunch of rehousings for you guys, but it's cool. It's gonna, this is gonna be really good for my tarantulas to like upgrade. Not that they're like, critter keepers are wrong. The only thing I don't really like about them is the, the lid colors. I used to not care, but now I've become incredibly particular. Tara, Pickles Pets. Thank you, homie. I appreciate your $1.99. <laughs> um, I will use it to buy Igor a treat. Thank you. <laughs> AFI on your story, dig that. Yeah, I get every time I get comments about like, oh, is that an AFI tattoo? I, I'm so mad though, I missed like a funny joke. I should have said, I'm very proud of you for recognizing it because that's one of their albums. Very proud of you. Nobody gets it. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's your favorite tarantula, tarantula cat? Um, any tarantula. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, all tarantulas. It's hard to say, it changes. I prefer the clear lids myself. Yeah, me too. That's like probably like the biggest reason I want to rehouse because I like the clear lids. And I also like the, this is nice, but I really like the sliding lids. I think that, I think this is my favorite. He always asks me like, what do you prefer? What do you like? And anytime I put on the spot and ask to make a decision, I always choke up and I'm just like, mm, no preference. Tarantula Chris, if you're watching this, I like the sliding lids the best. Not that I don't like those, I do. But there you go. <laughs> Roy, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, it's a diamond. Thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah, okay, so what is this? Yeah, okay. This is the biggest, biggest one I think he makes. So yeah. Oh, where am I going to put all these? I don't know where I'm going to put all these. I had like so many boxes just piling up in the kitchen because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, do you have M. Balfouri? No. How many Gramistola species are you up to? I think that's probably what I have most of since Brachypilma turned like half of the Brachypilma into Toledo Cattle. Pretty sure I have mostly Gramistola. Um, update on Dumpster Tarantula. He's doing great. He's, he's not mature. He's just chilling, um, living his best life. Probably will uh, upgrade him to one of these now that I'm probably, like, I have all my tarantulas pretty much in Critter Keepers and on my boxes, but I think I'm gonna probably end up doing away with the Critter Keepers because I have these now. And like, I said I really like the clear top so I'm probably gonna have to rehouse like everything but I'm not doing it all in one day it's gonna be like over a long period of time um what's your biggest tarantula my grandma stole a polka piece female she is my biggest um, oh this is a different this is a box inside of a box and oh this is some Yay, some decor. He gave me this decor last time and my kids stole it and I don't know where she put it. So there's some of it. <laughs> I'm so mad, <laughs> but look at it. See, this is why I need to not put like excess things in the kitchen because then she'll find it and she'll play with it. I love these though. I wonder what she did with it. Um, dumpster tarantula is male, but I do have a female for him. Answer that and stay fashionable. I, we know, you know. Critter keepers don't hold humidity well anyway. See, I know, but I was thinking like I could probably leave like probably my, a few in there if I wanted and it would be like totally fine. I mean, all of them are fine again, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just on here saying I might do this or that and then in like a few months somebody's gonna ask me, did you ever blah blah blah? And then I'm just gonna be like, oh, I opened my big mouth again and said I was gonna do something and then I just forgot. Um, thank you for this. I, uh, let me see, there's two. Are they the same? I think they're the same. Very nice. I will definitely wear these and um, look pretty cool. Pretty, pretty legit. <laughs> like my sweater. Uh, there's like a pile of boxes. Okay, here's another. <clears throat> Could you possibly do ma more mantis videos? Yeah, I can. My mantis are all doing well. The ghost mantis that I have. 
but um, I haven't done it. I probably will do another video on them soon. Oh, I'm so happy. I wanted one of these because I saw that he had these. You know who this is going for? This is going for my Green Bottle Blue. I definitely wanted a bigger, so my Green Bottle Blue is N in Exoterra right now and she has a little skull and she has a real jawbone that I bought, um, like a real, I think it's like a wolf or something. Um, so that's what she has webbed up. And I'm gonna keep the real jawbone because that's just decor, but the little skull is too little for her now. And I want to rehouse her into one of these bigger ones, so this is gonna be perfect because every green bottle blue needs a skull. Don't let Petco or anybody tell you otherwise. Every green bottle blue needs a skull to web up or it's not spooky and you have a waste of an opportunity, don't do it. If you have a green bottle blue, it needs a skull. All right. <laughs> um, don't let Petco catch you with that. I will email it to him. I will message him it right now. And I'll say, guess what I got? <laughs> hey, what is up? Triple Six is a very cool person she's local and she's the one who gave me the brown recluse and a super chat so thank you for that um and also i like that it's 666 all right i saw your giant spooky skeleton on facebook and i am jealous <laughs> i'm decorated out here though i will say i did decorate quite a bit for halloween but and i wanted to post it but like i also felt kind of uncomfortable posting like what our home looks like so I'm not, but I did decorate too. <laughs> Just not with like a, what is it, a 12 foot skeleton? Man. <clears throat> my green bottle blue has a full skeleton with it. I need to step up my knee. I love your videos. Thank you, Christian. Love the skull. Pecco's coming. You're gonna go missing. Um, Pecco is sleeping. Cause in Croatia, let's see, it's 10 here. He's like seven hours ahead. So. That's math. He's, he's gonna wake up soon though. You guys better not tell him I got a plastic skull. Don't tell on me. But, okay, so th look at this. This is gonna be pretty dope. For a green bottle blue. Like, tell me, is that not cool? It's gonna be dope. With the, the jawbone that I already have in there. I'm gonna have to clean it off though. But it's gonna be cool. <laughs> <clears throat> um... You need a tarantula now? I I agree. Look. We're almost we're getting there. We're we're this one's done. This is all gonna fall on me. This one still has a few more. But we're we're actually making progress. I feel like if I didn't go live, I would have just piled up more boxes in the kitchen and ignored them for another week. So um uh. Uh, hello from South Africa. Hello. What time is it there? Pecco's gonna rate that a four. Whatever. <laughs> if you were to say one thing as an inspiration to yourself back then, what would you say back when? Because I am, I'm 28. I'm 28 and I'm gonna turn 29. And you guys, I'm getting old. Like, it's happening. Oh my God. But maybe back when I was like littler, I'd say, I don't know, I liked insects, but I would say don't be scared of spiders because I definitely was. You are dangerous with that knife. Luckily, it's not that sharp. So it's, it's really not. It, I'm sure it could be but it, it's not, it's not that bad. Do you have a birthday color? Yes. When is my birthday? New Year's Eve. Um, usually it's like the best birthday ever because everybody's like having a party, but not this year. It, I mean, it's fine though. I'm, I'll probably get sushi or something to go. Um, Cameron's Reptile Life, would you ever trust any of your tarantulas to just chill with you while you stream, like sitting on your lap or walking on you? Maybe my homeoma chiliensis, but other than that, 
You're not old, Kat. I'm going to be 44 next Friday. You're not old either. It just feels like you are. Like, I don't know. Ever since, like, when I turned 25, I was like, this is nice. And then when I turned 26, I was like, oh, my goodness. And then 27, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, I'm as old as, like, the tw like Amy Winehouse was 27 when, she yeah, you know. And, and, and uh, oh God, there's, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And then now I turn 28, and I'm like, oh, my God. I'm older then they were, and then 20, I'm having a crisis on live right now because I'm getting old. Okay. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Editing benefits me a lot because I, I can edit all the weird stuff out, most of it. Um, how do you deal with a loss? I recently lost some special fish to me plus my beta sororities I did in the past and I still feel so bad. I'm sorry. I do not deal with it well either. Um, even fish. I, I don't have the best advice. I don't know, but it does get better. <laughs> and also, I have so many animals to love on that, like, whenever I do lose one, I always give them love more. Um, what was that? I can't hear you. Can you guys hear me? Um, wait till you're 30. See, that's something I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm turning 29, so not 30 yet. But it's definitely around the corner, so. Okay, good. You can hear me. Okay. 34 years old now, already looking at coffins. Sev, shush. Dramatic. My husband is 36, so he's older than you. And Pecco. I think Pecco is the same age as him. I don't remember. I remember that we all compared ages one day in, like, a chat, and I, and I was, like, not as young as some and not as old as others. So I was like, okay, good. Um, two more. I got two more. My son is 28. <laughs> Hi, Kat. Love your videos. Thank you, Denise. Does this mean more rehouse videos in the future? Yes, because I don't have room to store these and <laughs> um, I need to rehouse into these and then I need to I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with the old ones. I'm not going to throw them away, but I'll probably reach out to some like local people and see if they need anything. <clears throat> Hi. I wish I was 28. I'm almost twice your age. All right. Well, you guys are making me feel better. I feel like I can't believe I'm 28 already though. Like I literally graduated. This year was supposed to be my 10 year high school graduation. And obviously it was rescheduled. We were going to have it at this like really nice place downtown. And I was actually kind of looking forward to it. Like I didn't really have a bad experience in high school. Like, so I thought it would be fun to go to. And like this really nice like brewery was like booked and everything. And then we had to reschedule it. But we're going to have an 11 year reunion. <clears throat> yeah, a library house would be awesome. Awesome for you, but not awesome for me. <laughs> Because what if one runs off and I just look so panicked on live? Some people would probably like that. I've, I haven't had too many mishaps, but if I say that, I'm going to jinx it. Um, cat's old cre critter keeper giveaway. I don't really, oh gosh, that would be like so hard to ship all that. I don't know. I won't rule anything out. Maybe I'll like go to a reptile show and I'll just drop them off and I'll tell everybody to go grab one. <clears throat> I went to mine, had a few bullies, was nice to go all done up and see some of my bullies went bald. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really have bullies. I, so I went to a private school up until uh, high school. So I was with the same like 20 to 40 class um, from literally kindergarten until eighth grade. So then I went to a public high school and it was my first experience with public school and um, nobody was really mean to me, but like they were all already tight and like I went like freshman year, I was like a cheerleader and I tried that whole thing. It, I did not have that much in common. I've always been such a weirdo. <laughs> so um, yeah, I didn't really make friends until I was like a junior. And I made, well, I had some senior friends, but they all graduated. So, like, they were gone. So, junior year, I did this um, program. So, I still got my high school diploma, but I technically 
like got out of school early like I went to take my GED passed it and then I got to work the rest of my senior year and then uh, I got my high school diploma like just that way so like it's still a diploma but it was like a special program for like people who wanted to get the f out <laughs> Um, are those tarantula cribs? They are tarantula cribs. Yes. Tarantula cribs totally hooked it up. So we have a lot. Oh, okay. I think we're back. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Am I back? Am I back? Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Okay. All right. I disconnected from the internet. Sometimes my internet does that. <laughs> we can see you now. Thank you for the tip. Okay. Um, okay. So Madeline, I'm sorry. You inspired me to get my first three slings and I am overwhelmed with concern for these tiny babies. How do I deal? Okay. So, um, I don't know. My internet is like not doing good. Oh my God. Stop. Okay. Madeline, I'm so sorry because it keeps cutting me off every time I want to respond. You get better with practice. Tiny babies don't always make it. So if they don't, like, don't feel terrible. It happens. But, um, yeah, like, just, you'll get confidence as you keep. I think this is all of them. Is this all of them? <gasps> we did it. Okay. So this is freezing really bad. Okay. Connection seems good. Okay, good. I like how interactive she is. Thank you. I'm trying. When she freezes on screen because she thinks she is still frozen. <laughs> I totally do. Stop. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. We are done. I unboxed everything. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 enclosures all together. You were my inspiration for getting my tarantulas. I have two Trinidad Chevrons, one Behamori, a Peace Lothiri Regalis, Sea Versi Color. I love you so much. Thank you. And that is a great little collection. Um, they only have one Trinidad Chevron, but that one is kind of crazy. So good luck with that. <laughs> Any Mantis rehousing soon? They're still good, but... Yeah, they'll, that'll happen eventually. I, like, right now they're fine, though. I just don't like the... They're in the deli cups, so... Anyway. We did it, you guys. Three boxes. All of these. And then, look at this mess. Oh, my gosh. What am I gonna do? Like, what? That is so much. <laughs> hey, cat. Hey, sarcastic ghosty. Kim. <laughs> Have you seen the video of the peacock spiders mating video? Is that the... I think I... I don't know. I think I have, but I'm not sure. Oh, my God. What do I put in all these? Definitely green bottle blue for one. I don't know. I think these are my favorite. Like, the ones with my logos, of course. <laughs> Send old critter keepers my way in Illinois. Help me convince my parents I'm not the only spider living human. I think what I'll probably do is rehouse everything into these. And then with my old enclosures, I'll probably keep a few just in case. But I might, like at a show me snake show that comes up or something, I might ask Mickey maybe if I can like drop off a bunch of old enclosures and have people come. You and Peko are the best. Thank you, Linda. I really appreciate that. 
Um, I want a tarantula so bad, but my parents won't let me. Thank God your channel exists because I enjoy watching tarantulas. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, you guys are all so freaking nice, and I love it, and you guys like my spiders, and you guys get sad with me when they die, because <laughs> any other person who, <laughs> like, why are you having a bad day? Oh, my eCampus Stratus had impaction. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, who, who would even know? Um, Dark Den, Tarantula Cat are the only two Tarantula YouTubers I really look forward to. Thank you. There are so many, like, good ones, though. There are so many now. There's, like, a ton of people, like, doing really cool things. Um, that reminds me, I do have, like, a little shout-out for JoJo Exo Cavern. She sent me some stickers, and I was going to post about it on Instagram, and you know me. I, I'm a mess. But she sent me some stickers. So, JoJo, if you're, she, you're probably sleeping. Um, but she is a cool new person and like the pet rock and roll and all of them like doing the tarantula tuber Saturday night live. They'll be live tomorrow. They're fun. Um, and they're new and they're, I mean, they're not new, new, but the tarantula tuber live thing is, is new and it's so much fun. I went on there and it was so much fun. <laughs> Alex, will you tell Jojo I gave her a shout out? <laughs> oh, a lot of people are saying, okay. Tom Moran, yes, Tom is so nice. You guys, when I was literally a tiny, teeny tiny little channel, like Tom gave me the time of day and was so nice to me. Like, he is such a nice guy. I cannot even say, like, Tarantula Haven also, he kind of joined the Tarantula community or like our little thing um, years ago too. And he was always like straight up nice. He's Got a huge channel now, too. Tarantula Haven just hit 10K. He's a great YouTuber to check out. Do you have a name for my jumping spider? Mine is named Chai, so you should name yours. Pumpkin Spice. No. Maybe. What kind of jumping spider is it? Let's be more specific here. Um... My husband and I own 19 tarantulas, but we also have a couple hognose snakes. So that leads me to ask you, will you be making a video with your snakes again soon? Probably not. Um, like, I'll do them occasionally, but, like, snake-specific videos, like, anytime I do something that's not tarantula or spider content, some people don't like it. And, like, it's totally fine, but I just try to limit other videos so like sometimes I'll do like a random fish video um or maybe like a, a snake video or a, a frog video but I don't usually like do it much matcha matcha is a good name you guys you know that's a great name pumpkin spice is so basic you know what Alex I like pumpkin spice and I'm not ashamed <laughs> I want to thank you for making me want a tarantula collection. When I had a phobia of them, I've finally given and bought five this week. So you are amazing. Can't wait for my collection to be like yours. That is amazing. Like, thank you. Um, I love your, love your spider stuffy on your couch. I see it all the time and I want one. Yeah, my friend made that. And she was like doing commissions and she did sell some, but I don't, I think she has like so many commissions right now. I don't think she's taking new ones. Um, please do an update on my ogre face spider. I talked a little bit about this earlier, but the one I said that was going to die soon did die. Um, not surprisingly, but I'm, I'm going to preserve it. Um, uh, like I said, and then the other one's doing great. So, um, it hasn't eaten yet though. I got to wait for it to spin its little net to like grab, grab the cricket with. Um, same dude. I got so many critter keepers. I want to do YouTube, but nah. Yeah, it's, like, demand. I feel like I'm always, like, looking at, like, videos, w thinking of videos, first of all. What videos am I going to do? Um, sometimes things come up, so it's really, you know, easy to think of an idea because if it's something that just, like, comes up, I can just do that video really quick. But, like, thinking of interesting videos, filming them, um, editing them, and then, like, post trying to post regularly especially right now um hi um congrats on all the subscribers thank you i feel like some carnivorous plants kind of fit your whole vibe i have a very pretty red venus flytrap i kill venus flytraps i'm not allowed 
to like do Venus flytraps. I did get a new plant though, and I'm gonna show you it. Don't look at my messy house. It's uh, it's fine. Okay. I don't know what kind of plant this is. Look at it. What, what is this? <laughs> I just bought it. Uh, Living Nature, Button Eye Joe, display in indirect sunlight and mist lightly with water once a week using a spray bottle. Curator, is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't know, but isn't it so cute? Look at it. Cotton Eye Joe is its name. Button Eye Joe. Display an indirect. Yeah, I'm I'm going to probably like I'm going to try not to kill it. So. Uh, I have a um aloe vera. Hold on. Okay. Air plant? I've never heard of an air plant. Let me show you this other plant though. Guys, I don't know what I did to this plant. I'm so sad. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so sad about this. Look at it. Look at this. What happened? I was doing so good and now it's dead. And this stuff up here, this is kind of funny. These are little cicada shells that I collected because I just do that and I didn't know where to put them. Oh, there we go. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. This one's huge. Anytime I post these also, people always ask me what they are. I forget you guys don't all have cicadas, but that's the big one. And then this is the little one. And an acorn I found. Actually, Fiona found that. But yeah, look at that. What happened? If you kill the air plant, bless you. You know what? Challenge accepted. <laughs> Do you have a ghost? I've seen two orbs. I have dust, but... Where is this? Oh. Okay. All right. Check this thing out. I got this today. I for sure I'm going to have ghosts now. Ho oh, ho, look at it. It like puts thing. Yeah, you can't really see it. Oh, you know what? I can do this. Look at that. Isn't that spooky? It's so cool. <laughs> I think that's cool. So. That was fun. <laughs> Do you think I'm ready for an old world? I have kept eight tarantulas for about two years. It's up to you. Like, I don't think there's a specific time like that you're ready. <clears throat> I preserve insects and I have like 40 of those cicada shells. Man, they are so cool. I haven't seen a live cicada this year yet though. It's kind of stupid. What is your favorite species of tarantula? All of them. <laughs> Spongebob look at it look at it see this I need to get off of here before I start like showing you all my dead plants <laughs> look I I tried to follow the directions and <clears throat> I killed a string of pearls too I don't even know how that happened but I did I would tried not to water them too much so maybe I didn't water them enough what do you think of I can't say the word because YouTube doesn't like the word but the situation going on right now is probably making me crazier than usual. Mm -hmm. Tyler Ruggie has a stream. I stole you from Tyler Ruggie. I'm so sorry, Tyler Ruggie, if you're watching this, that I stole a person from your stream. But I did not know you were streaming, and I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate streaming when other people are streaming because I don't want to do that. Just stay away from the plants. No! <laughs> I even killed the aquarium once. Well... You can blame the Pleco on that because she just kept uprooting the plants. I still have like one or two in there. The other ones are gone. I need to get new plants. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know if tarantulas can make it in Illinois cold weather? I'm worried the cold weather will be too harsh. I never have issues. The only thing I have issues about is um, I use a space heater if it gets like really cold. 
and it can dry enclosures out really fast. So you want to be like super on top of misting like every couple days or more or water dishes full. Just watch for that, especially if they're molting. Oh, Tyler's stream just ended? Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> Who's the guy you get your spiders from? I get him, I get them from like a lot of different places, but Micro Wilderness, Tom Patterson, um, there's more, I'm blanking. Um, how is Igor? She is good. Do you guys want me to see if Igor is awake? But then I'm going to get off probably because, um, I don't, I've been on here for like 55 minutes. This is the longest stream I think I've ever done, but we got a lot, we got a lot of work done. So that's good. But yeah, I can grab Igor really quick and uh, hide my dead plant that I somehow killed. Oh my God, so many boxes and rocks. There's so many rocks over here, oh my God. <clears throat> Hi, dead plant. Igor, okay. Igor, I'll go get, I'll see if she, oh my god. There's a pile of boxes, don't fall. She's like, you guys, you stole me out of my cage for what? <laughs> all right, here is Igor. Oh, she just woke up. Whenever she wakes up, she's all like squinty and like, yeah, she probably doesn't like the light. Hello. She was just on her wheel, kind of waking up and what time is it? 10. Yeah, she usually wakes up every day around this time. Hi, baby. <laughs> I just cleaned her cage yesterday and I gave her some new decor and some new toys and we ate a lot of pumpkin seeds. We like pumpkin seeds, huh? Yeah. <sighs> she says hello back to everybody saying hello. She's, she probably wants some pumpkin seeds, but yeah, we are going to hop off because I'm going to go feed her like I do every night around this time. And I've got to break down all these boxes. I literally, that's going to be a whole nother thing. So, but we have a ton of rehousings to do probably coming up soon and that'll be fun. Hmm. Tarantula cat low key reminding me to water my lavender. Yeah. Don't kill it. <laughs> but yeah. All right. I'm going to hop off. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you so much. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, I was really in the mood to, like, talk to people and just hang out and stuff. So, even though it's not IRL, it was still a lot of fun and we got, we got a lot of work done. So, I will see you guys soon. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. How do I end this? <laughs>